joined by economist Christy Fulyun uh, in our Cape Town studios. There you are, Christy. Good evening to you. Thank you uh, for your time. There's, of course, lots to unpack with the budget speech. Uh, help me understand what you think stands out. Austerity, though, is not on the cards, apparently. Uh, the sun was a bit there, a bit bad on your question, but I think... Uh Yeah, Christy, go ahead. If you can, just give us your synopsis of today's budget speech. I know the audio is bad. What did you think about today? I think the big question with this week's budget was, is it, any, is it much better than we had in October? Uh, in October, with the medium-term budget, we had a bit of a scare. National Treasury put out lots of numbers that really didn't show us a very good path going forward. I think this time around, a little bit better some of the numbers, a little bit worse some of the other numbers. Uh, the concern is that in the past four months, it does not appear that we've really made significant progress as a country in terms of where the economy is going, where fiscal dynamics are going. Uh, of course, there's been good news. Uh, reduction in personal income tax rates, it's not much. It's going to be just a little bit. Uh, there wasn't an increase in VAT, which a lot of us feared. But a lot of the big, big important numbers on the budget, like deficit and the debt, hasn't really improved, to be honest. So certainly a mixed bag that we got from the finance minister today. Uh, Christy, I certainly hope the audio is better to you. Allow me to apologize. Uh, as far as the positives from today, what do you think South Africans uh, need to take away from today's budget speech? You say no VAT, good news. What else stood out for you? Well, I think the, just the effort that we, we can obviously see the National Treasury is doing to get the expenditure side sorted out. They haven't been able to cut much in terms of expenditure. The one big point that they need to address is the public sector wage bill. And there's always been concern that it's, it's sort of off limits. Uh, and I think what we saw today was the, the finance minister and his team saying, we need to address the spending bill. Uh, we need to address how much it costs to operate the government. And they've planned over the next three years to reduce spending on staff costs. Now, obviously, that doesn't include reducing the number of staff. It's mostly focused on remuneration increases, cost of living expenses, those kinds of things. So we can see at least there's an effort, and the finance minister said that he's got the backing of the president and the cabinet. So for me, that's the big positive, because that is the big point that we need to solve. It is the cost of staff, which uh, at this stage is about 35% of the budget. Mm -hmm. I'm just hoping they can actually achieve what they're setting out to do. There's quite a lot of discussions that need to happen between government and labor before it gets approved. And obviously the, the extent of these changes in spending still need to be finalized. But I'm hoping, um, I think at this stage, it's good to be able to cling to something like that as a positive. It's something that will be monitored. And by the, the medium term budget in October, we would definitely want to see some results on that specific point. Uh, well, Christy, just before I say goodbye to you for this evening, I have in front of me the uh, Moody's uh, ratings agency report from last year. Moody's is the name we're all looking at. And they're wanting to hear positive sentiment out of today's speech. How do you think someone like Moody's is going to look at this? Do you think they'll be happy? Or are they going to downgrade us? Yes, Moody's is obviously in focus. They are the only rating agency that still gives us an investment grade rating. And they are scheduled to release another review of South Africa within a month at the end of March. So there's concern what will Moody's think of this budget. They already have us on a negative outlook. And they've been very patient with South Africa, to be honest. Some of the other rating agencies have downgraded us two or three more times than Moody's have. And they have, they, their patience might be running out. I think if we look at objectives, Objectively, the numbers that Moody's want to see in this budget, they look at the deficit, they look at the debt, they look at what the government thinks they can get out of economic growth. And I don't think they're going to be very optimistic. Uh, the numbers look a little bit worse than they were in October. Uh, so realistically, a downgrade from Moody's this year, I think it's very, very likely. Uh, not sure if it's going to be in April yet. They might give us a bit more of a chance. But sometime this year, it's very, very possible. Um, they've given us enough chance, and I don't think that we as South Africa have been able to come to the table and provide them with the kind of assurances that they're really looking for. All right, Christy Fulhune, I appreciate uh, you coming in to speak to us this evening on Budget Wednesday. Uh, economist Christy Fulhune from our Cape Town studios this evening. My thanks.